immediately after Labor Day. Balloon Fiesta crews start moving in these white tents, the same ones you'll be visiting to buy pins and those yummy breakfast burritos. They need to make sure their electrical is working. Uh, they need to get approval from the fire department as far as make sure everything's code. The layout is a bit different this year. Coordinators had to work around this brand new Sid Cutter's Pilots Pavilion. Whenever you add a new building, uh, you're always going to have the opportunity for new learning experiences. Meanwhile, the city's Parks and Recreation Department, Public Works, you name it, they're out here. Making sure this grass is green and ready to go since pilots, chase crews, and their 600 balloons will be launching from here. We have uh, the uh, field crew going through and stabilizing all the launch markers. Those are the little blue lights you see on the field. Then, that magical moment that we are all waiting for. The food vendors will be moving in here Thursday and Friday, and then they have to go through all of their inspections. This event generates $94 million for Albuquerque and New Mexico as a whole. So, again, it is a pretty big event. Todd and Marissa, you mentioned uh, Main Street. We are all excited about that, of course. And there's actually several new features that are going to be out here at Albuquerque Balloon Fiesta. I know my photographer and I will be here out here all next week keeping you covered. Reporting live at Balloon Fiesta Park, I'm Angela Brower, KYT Action 7 news.